you talk head and you talk hard and you won the Graham. To what extent this is a game for the brave pumping heart or, by contrast, the cool calculated mind? That uh, when he hosted Liverpool at Old Trafford in August, things were so different. Here's Dallow. Anthony! And Alisson had to plunge. Yeah, that shows how dangerous Manchester United are, under pressure. Set piece from a throw in, Veghorst doing really well, linking play up, switching it to that right side, isolating Anthony one on one this time with Henderson. Gets a yard and quality strike, nearly to great effect. Henderson, Gakpo, sweet turn, Elliot. Harvey Elliot, Shaw's header away. Dabbed back by Fabinho. Robertson gave and went. Robertson Nunez! Martinez again key defensively. Oh, this is a fabulous bit of defending because Nunez, at first look, has to score. Dallo. Fred. Dallo. Oh, right back across the face of goal from Fernandez. That shows the form United are in under huge amount of pressure, and all of a sudden they have probably the best chance of the uh, of the half. Certainly the second best chance if we think of that Nunez strike. That is inches past the post. Allison, as that goes past him, is really concerned. That's going in. Brilliant counter attack by Manchester United. Sure. Aimed up at Rashford, who, had he caught that more cleanly, would himself have established a lead. Now, I can't think for Marcus Rashford here, but I just wonder, it's such a brilliant run by Fred, I just wonder if he caught, gets caught in between two minds here. Looks like he's going for the strike, and strikers, you would always presume, are taking the shot on, but Fred was in acres of space for a side-foot pass and a tap-in. It is Luke Shaw, and it is Dallow whose uh, downward header was collected with comfort by too, Allison. Too flat. He had lots of space to aim for. You see three United players have run past the ball. Poor delivery by Luke Shaw standard that, given the uh, opportunity in the area of the free kick. For Louis van Gaal, the last United boss to win here. Given away to Anthony, held up by Rashford. Taken up by Casemiro and rolled in here for Anthony. Fernandez wanted it. Van Dijk scraped it away. The flag was going up anyway. The referee has acknowledged that and allowed Liverpool to progress. Casemiro rolls it out though for Rashford, who moments ago was in the left back position. And he's gone over Fabinho and got himself a free kick. Different player, Rashford, when he's out on that left hand side. Fabinho getting the yellow card for that challenge. But good play earlier by Andy Madley. Varane went down on the edge of the penalty area, holding his face. He didn't fall for it. Andy Madley made the game, let the game continue. And that's brilliant football by Rashford, and that is a cynical challenge by Fabinho. There's the arm from Fabinho earlier on. There is contact, but I don't think enough to stop the game. Fernandez takes. Casemiro is denied by a flag. And by his body language, one suspects he was anticipating it. Yeah, that's the problem when you've got the in-swinger there and there's such a high line. Players have to go early because the ball's always moving away from you. He's a good yard or so offside, Casemiro. And as you rightly point out, Pete, he knew that the minute the ball went in the net. Robertson. Oh, it's a Super Bowl. Gakpo is onto it. It's Cody Gakpo! <laughs> a cop explosion! They must beat United! Liverpool lead United! Now, this is a fabulous goal. 
Ball switched out to Robertson on the left-hand side by Allison. Again, cuts inside but plays with his head up. Excellent run by Gapko. He's well on side, short the far side, and then he cuts inside with a wonderful first touch. Just takes Varane off balance. Great movement. That triggers the pass. There's your first touch inside Varane. Opens the angle up for his right foot and... This is a lovely finish, really calm and composed, eyes on the ball, knows where the target is and leaves De Gea with no chance. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Cody Gakpo, three goals for Manchester United, one of them here against Everton in the derby, one in a massive Champions League playoff at Newcastle and now one against the ultimate enemy. He picks his battles, and right now he's winning them. Martinez, Fernandez, Vekhorst! Flags up. Big block, big block. They want to know the flag would go up. Fabinho, snapped back by Casemiro, snapped back by Fabinho, taken on by Nunez, and Fabinho again. Here's Mo Salah. And Elliot Nunez! Red Utopia! For them, it's does not get a whole lot better than this. Well, Liverpool beat me to it. I was going to say that they've got to go out feeling that the score's still nil-nil and start the game for the second half as well as they did the first. They've certainly done that. Once again, winning all these sort of 50-50 challenges, the ball falling kindly for them. Harvey Elliott timing his run brilliantly, stayed on side. Mo Salah just hooking that back. Shaw can't clear it, sort of hits him on the hip. Half a clearance, and Elliot's the first to react. He has a good look there, and he just crashes that ball across the box. If he meant that, that's a great pick out. Lovely pass. Nunez first to react as well, and a decent header into an empty net. Gakpo can turn, and Salah is off on his bike. And Salah's bike is a quick one. Gakpo through the middle. He's taking on Lissandro Martinez, he's sat him down, it's Gakpo, it's free! <laughs> Wonderful speed of thought and movement. What a beautiful, beautiful goal. What a sight, what a sound. What a moment in his young life. Stunning, stunning goal. Jordan Henderson here reading the cutback, and then it's a quick break. Gapko starts the move, and Salah, watch this. Fantastic body movement. Slip there by Martinez. Just hits the deck, but Salah's awareness, playing with his head up. Plays the ball back to Gapko. Great run. And then tremendous little flick over De Gea. Tight, tight angle, very little room to play with. Again, he's made his mind up well before the ball gets to him. By the time he receives the ball, he's not looking anywhere other than focusing on the contact point. It's a delightful finish and a wonderful team goal. Who had? Who had in the minutes and hours and days leading up to kickoff in this game? Who had 3 0 Liverpool? And then this pass seen by Robertson, shifted for Elliott, lifted forward here for Gakpo. And fired wide by Robertson, who had a fair bit to aim at. He did, and that was a better strike with his right foot than the one he had in the first half. Does well here, Gapko under pressure to still come out with the ball. And the noise tells you that the cop is maximising its special day. In by Alexander Arnold and Konate glanced it wide. How on earth has this not gone in? Brilliant ball in. Great run by Konate from the penalty spot. Oh, he's got to score there. He turns his back on it. 
Comes off the side of his head. If he gets any of his forehead on that, it's a goal. The pace on the corner is perfect. Benefited from the chances they've been given or created. That post side down by Lissandro Martinez. That has to be a booking, it is. Yeah, that challenge is born from frustration. And uh, United didn't win again here until 1981. And that is a coming together which uh, the referee waited to make a judgment on, playing advantage before lifting a yellow card and listening yes. into a VAR check. It's the follow through there wins the ball and then raises his foot, McTominay. Just got to see whether this is accidental. I think it's just unfortunate, really, here. Wins the ball and then the leg just comes up with the momentum of him hitting the ground. I think yellow card is right. I don't think it's any more or less. Van Dijk taken back by Anthony, taken on by Henderson. Rolled up here for Nunez. We'll get a second bite. And it falls for Salah! Formidable! Boy, did he crush that in! Liverpool are ripping United up. Well, when it rains, it pours. And Liverpool, once again, they break with numbers. McTominay does well initially when he slides in for this challenge. And then it just an awful deflection off him as he tries to block the second pass. Just here, Salah's given up on it. And then he can't believe his luck when it falls kindly on the bounce into his path. Sits up beautifully for him and he just wraps his foot through this. Lovely strike, very relaxed and off the underside of the crossbar. They are dancing on air, he is dancing on air. Numbers, more numbers. His 128th Premier League goal for Liverpool. And that is as many as one Robbie Fowler. Once known here simply as God. Found a position on the pitch where everything seems to be either going through him or coming to him. Nunez. Barged over by Shaw, who's left something in. Now Andy Madley's got a choice to make. Interpretation required. Casemiro, Dallo. Rolled up for Fernandez. Rolled on for Marcus Rashford. Flags up. So the cleanliness or otherwise of Alexander Arnold's challenge doesn't matter. Yeah, offside there, Fernandez. This was a certain penalty. <laughs> Alexander-Arnold, Van Dijk round the back, Henderson can retrieve this. Lifted in by Henderson, five! Darwin Nunez, day of his life! A story quite unfortellable! Who saw coming who could have dreamt this up united are in shreds and they depart intolerable inconceivable well, it starts with a set piece van dyke at the far post getting something on it and then this ball from Henderson, again, look at Liverpool players, movement. Nunez drops into space, attacks the ball, gets a little bit of good fortune. Again, it's slightly off the back of his head. But he's having one of those games where everything he touches, along with Cody Gapko, seems to come off and 5-0. Quite remarkable.
He's got them back. Jurgen Klopp must feel as though he's got them back. Elliot. Firmino. to the power of six. Half a dozen reasons to believe that Liverpool are back. One more goal than Robbie Fowler in the Premier League. He's at the top of the list, and this is right at the top of the list of Liverpool red-letter days. Yeah, all individual performances from a Manchester United point of view now. Total collapse. Shaw's clearance is awful. Just checking to see if that's offside, are they? Check is complete and the goal will stand. And this will become, Graham, this will become Manchester United's worst ever Premier League defeat. Wow. Off the back of 18 wins in 22 matches. That's a wake-up call and a half. Jones, Salah, he wouldn't, would he? Salah's rolled it in. It's madness. These now are crazy numbers. Robertson's got hurt in the celebration, but celebration it is for Bobby Firmino, whose moment is spoiled by an individual from the crowd, that's a shame, and you can see how angry Jurgen Klopp is about it. But do not let that detract from uh, a poignant moment for Bobby Firmino.